Welcome to Cheers PA Beer Tours. We just went out Mount Washington in a red trolley, so that means we're exploring the Pittsburgh Brewers Guild today. As we overlook the city, there are over 30 breweries, each doing craft beer in their own special way. First up, we're visiting RX Brewing Company's production facility. Their beer is made without any barley or wheat, making it the only 100% gluten-free brewery in Pennsylvania. So we're here with Doug at Aurochs Brewing in Pittsburgh. What is an Aurochs? <laughs> so the Aurochs was a giant bull and went extinct partially because of the expansion of wheat and barley farming in Europe and Asia. And since we don't brew with wheat or barley, we thought that was kind of apropos to resurrect the Aurochs. We are a 100% dedicated and naturally gluten-free brewery. So all of our grist is made up of millet, quinoa, buckwheat, naturally gluten-free grains, and the result is naturally gluten-free beer. And we are, as far as today, the only dedicated naturally gluten-free brewery producing in Pennsylvania. We always say there are just some occasions in life that call for a beer. Absolutely. And until you have to miss out on that, you don't realize like how that can detract from that situation. So it became our goal to brew naturally gluten-free craft beer that competes with barley brew beer based on taste, but it's 100% safe for anyone medically required to follow a gluten-free diet. That's why we do what we do. So where can people find your beer? To date, we ship to five states throughout Pennsylvania, Ohio, Kentucky, Vermont, New Hampshire, and we're also available in DC. We also work on traditional distribution. We're distributed throughout Pennsylvania. You know, we'd love to be able to reach all the states that are within four to eight hour drive of Pittsburgh. It's awesome that you can buy your product at breweries that also are brewing traditional beer because that way everybody can come together and sit there and have beers together and everybody's sure. drinking beer. All right, so I'm enjoying the Hefeweizen, it's one of my favorite styles of beer, and I have never had a gluten-free one before. So yeah. this is awesome. Like what, tell me about what makes this a gluten-free Hefe. It's really technically, I guess, a half a quinoa and not a half a bison because there's no wheat in it. But because it's such a yeast-driven style, it allows us to provide that same beer drinking experience. And so it's similar to some of our lighter and more citrusy beers in the fact that it does feature a little bit of those citrus notes and it has a lighter grain bill. What are you drinking? So this is our Aurochs Hazy IPA. It's quickly become one of our flagships and favorites that, that are brewed here. It's part of our year-round lineup that we have available at Cans, and it's now available at Full Sail in just about every market that we're in. Well, well cheers. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> You don't have to wait until Halloween to raise the dead in Pittsburgh. Just come to Necromancer Brewery, where they're digging up and resurrecting ancient beer recipes. We're here at Necromancer Brewery in Pittsburgh. I'm with Lauren, she's the head brewer here. So what does Necromancer mean? <laughs> so a Necromancer is a thing that raises the dead and we wanted to do something where we resurrect old beer styles that have kind of gone away or just aren't very popular anymore. So that's kind of our little niche. We still brew the trendy stuff, we still brew the classic stuff, but we also want to focus on bringing back some of those old styles and trying to cool. let people try them, so yeah. So what are some of the more like older styles that you all have brewed? On our core four beers, we have a Kentucky Common, the Wayside, so we've done a Black IPA, we did the Red oh, IPA. Uh, <laughs> same. Um, also one of my favorite beers to drink and brew. We're going to do this uh, beer called a pearl beer, which is kind of a spice beer that they would have in the river boats in England in a cask and they would just drink it while they went across the river. So it's fun to brew it so it's still something that people are going to like, but still stays true to what it used to be. So it's pretty fun. Cool. I'm drinking this red rye IPA. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this isn't like a style that you normally see. So can you tell me about this beer and like yeah. the inspiration behind it? It's actually a beer I home brewed a lot because I really like rye. You know, with these kind of beers, you can make an IPA, but also have it be very malt forward mm. and get to play around with the malt side of things. Yeah. Like playing around with hops is fun. Don't get me wrong. I love playing around <laughs> with hops. But also it's kind of nice to see what you can do with the malt and the hops and how that whole like, balance happens. Balance in the heart. <laughs> cool. What are you? What are you I am drinking? drinking Morning Paper. So this is a coffee porter. We partnered up with Press House Coffee. They're a roaster on the north side. The beans we used, they were from a volcanic region. 
Oh, uh, cool. Yeah, so we're never gonna get them again. And then we sold out of the coffee and I didn't get any. I was really bummed out. <laughs> but like, yeah, once you, you pick the plant, you have to wait, I guess, for a volcanic eruption again oh, to happen. Um, it's really cool. It's like a medium roast. We've had this like in-between chocolate note and this like cinnamon note to it. Yeah, so I was like putting that in the porter. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. All right, well, cheers. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> There are so many cool ways you can visit and discover Pittsburgh. From simply walking the river walk, biking the city hills, taking a Segway tour, or my favorite, taking the view from its famous rivers on a boat. Thanks for watching. Follow us online, tell us your favorite spots, and let us know where you want us to go next. Cheers, TA. My name is Lauren Hughes, and I'm the head brewer of Necromancer Brewing. Uh, if I had to pick a favorite beer, there's, there's quite a few. Uh, but one that stands out is Upland Brewing Company. Makes They have a whole sour program that's amazing. Uh, and the one that is my favorite is called Iridescent. Uh, it's an apricot ginger sour. They use their uh, basis, which is their, uh, one of their standalone sour blonde ales, uh, and then uh, use their mixed culture, and then they age it in wine barrels.